Faith seems weak. Take your eyes off the storm and gaze on Jesus. Matthew chapter 14, verses 28 to 32. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried out saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. This is a very memorable event in the life of Peter, something I'm sure he never forgot for the rest of his life. You know, Peter actually walked on the water as he was approaching Jesus. Jesus given, had given his word and Peter was walking on that word. He was walking on the water. But suddenly he took his eyes of Jesus and he began to look at what was happening around him. He saw the wind, he saw the waves, he began to reason. He said, look, I'm not supposed to be doing this. This is not what uh, I should be doing. And that moment his faith began to weaken to the point where Jesus had to rebuke him later, later saying, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Meaning, why did you let doubt come in and weaken that faith you had when you started walking on the water coming towards me? So in life, there may be situations where you and I, we step out of the boat in good faith, in strong faith. And we are actually seeing God carry us through supernaturally. We are seeing God at work. We are seeing God do something amazing. And we are walking on the water. But sometimes a reason sets in and doubt comes into our heart and begins to weaken our faith. What must we do? The real reason why our faith is being weakened is because we've taken our eyes on, off of Jesus, off of the word that he gave to us by which we first started out, and we've now put our eyes on the situation, on the circumstances around us, just like what Peter did. So, when faith seems to weaken, get your gaze back on Jesus. Get your eyes back on the word on which you first stepped out. As Hebrews says in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, it says, Looking unto, let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. You see, our faith begins and ends with Jesus. He is the author. He is the source and the completer, the perfecter, the strengthener of our faith. And so our eyes must always be on Him. Our eyes must always be on the word He has spoken into our lives. So as you're having faith in God for various situations in your life, maybe it's your health or your healing, maybe it's for your finances, maybe it's for your family, your children, your job or a growth in your career you know for various scenarios situations in life we look to God we have faith in God one thing as you're journeying in faith always keep your eyes on Jesus when faith seems to be weak put your eyes back on his word put your eyes on him let's pray Lord I pray especially for those listening who may seem to have become weak in their faith i pray that today you will empower them to get their eyes back on your word back on your promise back on you lord jesus so that our faith can be built up and encouraged so that we continue journeying with faith in our hearts in jesus name amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.